Earlier last January 2023, the Philippine Coast Guard expressed its desire to gain an additional five more 97-meter multirole response vessels, Teresa Magbanua class MRRVs, from Japan, as this intention has discussed by the PCG Commandant before his audience of the delegates representing JICA or Japan International Cooperation Agency, led by its president Dr. Tanaka Akihiko. This is the latest in the series of modernization efforts surrounding the Philippine Coast Guard's fleet composition since the addition of the newly gained vessels like the said 97-meter multirole vessels that currently came with two, two, units. 10-1044-meter Parola class vessels that also came from Japan as the Teresa Magbanua class and the BRP Gabriela Salang, OPV-8301, from France's OCEA. The PCG Commandant continued his explanation that by having additional Teresa Magbanua class multirole response vessels in the Philippine Coast Guard, the Maritime Law Enforcement Agency may now have more vessels at its disposal that can conduct maritime domain awareness operations through constant patrol of the country's territorial and EEZ waters, rescue operations, and other functions that promotes the country's economic growth and development through maritime security. Having additional Teresa Magbanua class MRRVs in the Philippine Coast Guard, to take notes, may increase not only the presence of these ships in contested waters like the West Philippine Sea as it augments the smaller Parola class MRRVs, but also has the capability of long endurance and loitering time in offshore waters which is ideal in countering ongoing Chinese Coast Guard aggression in the area. In this topic, we will discuss the current incident that involves both the Chinese and Philippine Coast Guard vessels the latter's desire to up arming its existing white hull vessels, and pointing out further the capabilities of the Teresa Magbanua class MRRVs, given with its design originating from Japan Coast Guard's Kunigami class offshore patrol vessels. Currently, the Philippine Coast Guard only has three large patrol vessels, of which two are Teresa Magbanua class, and one being the BRP Gabriela Salang, OPV-8301, whereby the agency fully acknowledges that the number it currently has to patrol a large area of the West Philippine Sea is not enough, and they really need at least 20 more of such vessels for them to upkeep the mandate of both patrolling the contested zone confronting vessels like the ones from the China Coast Guard. Such numbers required not only mean an increased capability of loitering and thoroughly patrolling the vast areas that the West Philippine Sea covers, but this also means that smaller vessels like the 44-meter Parola-class multirole response vessels such as the BRP Tabataha, MRRV-4401, and the BRP Malapascua, MRRV-4403, may get reassigned on waters near the Philippine coastline such as the Sulu Sea or in waters surrounding the country's archipelagic area. To add it up, the number of patrol vessels or the multi-role response vessels that the Philippine Coast Guard required may provide advantage to the maintenance and upkeep of these ships, as this mean distributed time and resources on a vessel's MRO or its maintenance, repairs, an operational schedule in an essence that the agency comes being both prepared and always present in its areas of duty 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Given the desired number of vessels that the Philippine Coast Guard seeks for its fleet, their showing expression of gaining five more 97-meter Teresa Magbanua class is a significant step for this aim in numbers to fulfill, as it will help the agency fulfill its mandate of showing the flag by keeping its presence in the West Philippine Sea, with its size and capabilities being helpful in accomplishing the task at hand. Summarizing this up, the Philippine Coast Guard expressed its desire of adding the numbers not only in terms of the recruits it currently get, but also the ships that these future personnel gets assigned later on, as their mandate comes with an ultimate aim of keeping the country safe and secure, as the Filipino fisher folk can do their livelihood without worries and not a single inch of Philippine territory gets lost to a foreign adversary, as this administration assures in a speech.